It's time for the Joy Bomb Show. 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 We're driving home. It's time for the show. If that's our new theme song, Ice Possible. 529, it's 17 degrees. This is the Joy Bomb Show. Holy crap. Crappers. Holy crap, Olas. I left the same time as Bruce and Sandy. I start my cars and I turn around and back out and they're both long gone. They just leave quickly. It's just too, too, too quick fully. It's too quick fully. Too much of the quick fulliness. Time for the drive home show. It's really white outside. It's not snowing, but it's white. Everything is white. The streets are white. The snow is white. The sky is white. And it's white, 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 white. It's not dark out because the sun hasn't set. But it's white out, white, and the sky is white, and the snow is white, and the streets are white. And the building is white. It's pitch white. Uh, nothing really happened today. Nothing really happened today. We got a couple of things happening today. Nothing really happened today. What did I say? Did I say it's 17 degrees? 17 degrees. It's uh, nothing really happened today. Well, we're going to see if we maybe get the oil change. Here's the dilemma. Here's the thing. The thing that's the dilemma is I went out and I spent um, seven, seven fifty. Approximately 750 on oil because my oil was low, and so I spent like 750 to get more oil. Well, I put the oil in, and it's still low, so I need another quart. So that's another seven. That's another 350. So that's 11 dollars I would be spending on oil, but I need an oil change. It's changing. Something changed. Um, so, if I get, here's the dilemma. I spend money to get oil, but then I get the oil changed. And so you're wasting the money you just spent because they're taking out the oil that you just put in and changing it. That's the dilemma. <clears throat> so, if I go, we're missing the potholes. We're at the pothole site that we just missed. And, uh... <coughs> set a cough. If I go and the oil change place is full again, you know, there's a line. Because basically the only way I'll go is if there's no line. And people are sitting right there waiting to change my oil. Okay, say there's a line again. Then I gotta go I gotta go buy another quart of oil. So then that becomes eleven dollars of oil. And you know oil change is only like thirty bucks. So that's like a third of the oil change cost. So do I wait some longer to change the oil again or do I change it when I need it? So that's the dilemma. I already decided today if it's no, no line, I'll go. But then if it's if there is a line, then what do I do? Then what? What then? Okay, here what I here's what I did. What I did. What I did. Okay, I I did the I did three. I did I did all three puzzles today. Wait, did I? I think so. <laughs> Uh, we've got to change lanes and get out from this trap of the right left turn changes. Left turners. I've gotten out of that lane. You know what? We just got in front of a high beam Larry. That's what we did. Got to get away from him. High beam Larry. High beam Larry in his Cadillac. Kek, 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 kek. I beam Larry in his Cadillac. Kick, 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 kick. You ought to know by now. You can drive all day with your high beams on. 
If that's what they call you, it's Larry. That seems such a waste of, of brightness. Shining in your car in front of you's face. Good luck moving up, because Larry's got the high beams on. Okay, I, I was starting to say something. Oh, I did the puzzles today. I did the puzzles. I think I did all three puzzles, I think. I don't know. I, let's see if I can remember what all the three of the puzzles were. Yep, I did all three. First one I did was the most boring of the three. It was a landscape. It was a gray sky, mountains, then a gray lake with trees and brown ground. But it was split up nicely so that you could you could decipher the pieces pretty well. So I knocked that one out in about 28 minutes. That's including the interruptions that happened. And then I did this truck, semi truck, red truck. That was my favorite one to do because you just go for the red pieces. That's all you did. I, I did that one without doing the border, the uh, edges, without doing the edge borders first. You know, like how everybody does the edge borders first. Oh, I did that one without doing the edge borders. I started with the red truck and then I worked my way out. And I knocked that one out in like 21 minutes with the interruptions sometimes an interruption can be 20 minutes right there by itself then I did the chicky one just a bunch of yellow chickies on a white background that's the hardest one but we, we did it okay I don't it was over an hour that one that one took over an hour with the with the uh, interruptions then I watched a Twins game, just a random Twins game, found that out on YouTube because I was looking at my Twins game that I posted. I know when I've been insulted. I know when I've been insulted. Um, I was looking at the one that I posted and then it kind of, it kind of, you know, recommends, kind of recommends other videos that you might want to watch. And so there was a Twins game, random Twins versus Royals game from June 9th of 1987 and it was from Kansas City's own channel their own Kansas City Royals channel wait hey 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 don't be turning I'm coming you don't turn even even though I'm in the left lane oh crap I was gonna I was gonna cut him off just because he did that stupid jerk I should have. I'm in the left lane. There's a two lanes. He's turning right on a red. Come on, Silverado. You can tell, like, yeah, they're, they're waiting at a red light up there. I'm in the left lane. He turns right into the right lane the same time that I'm passing. And I, that's my that's my pet peeve because. I have the right to change lanes if I want to. You don't have a right to take that lane from me, because if I want to change lanes, I can do that. So that ticked me off. Gas is a dollar thirty-nine now. Can you can you imagine that? Can you believe it? What is gas for you where you are? I mean, when I say that where you are, that could be a place and a time. That's two dimensions. That's two thingsism. Two dimensions. Time and place. So you could be listening in the future. And gas could be like 07 Corbett's. I don't know. You know, it could be, you could change money. You could change money in the future. It's not likely, but it's possible. You could totally possibly change your currency. It could be 07 Corbett's. Or it could be like seven dollars a gallon or it could be like four cents a gallon i don't know i don't know but um or you could be listening to this in uh, tulsa oklahoma today and you could say well gas over here's a dollar nine a gallon so there 
So there's two things. It would be place, location, and time. All right, did I finish the puzzles? Yeah, I, yeah, I did, yeah. Okay, so then I was watching the Twins game. That's, that's what I was doing. All right. I was watching the Twins game. And this was a Kansas City channel. So, why? If you're a Kansas City channel and you're posting videos on YouTube, ooh, it's toasty warm. We got some toasty warm. Or I could be smelling cigarettes from a car up front of me. Could be that same car that was taking my lane. Um, so if you're posting videos of Twins games, some of you had to let me in here. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, people. Thank you. If you're posting videos of Kansas City Royals games online, wouldn't you pick a game where the Kansas City Royals won if you're in Kansas City Royals station? I, I, I don't know about you, but I would. So I'm watching this random game, Twins versus Kansas City, June 9th, 1987, in the Metrodome. So I'm, I'm, I'm totally thinking, okay, the Royals are going to win, but I just want to see my old favorites play again, you know, because they're retired and they're not playing. So, so I just want to see them play again, you know, the Dan Glad and Kirby Puckett, Gary Gaetti, Kent Herbeck, Tom Runansky, Greg Gagne. Did I say Dan Gladden? Did I say Kirby Puckett? Did I say Tom Brunansky? Tim Laudner? You know, all those guys. It's like a new game, because I don't know what's going to happen. It's like a brand new game. So I just want to see them hit again. You know. Turns out that they won like 5-2. to two. So uh, that was a pleasant surprise. They won. They won in when a Kansas City station posted game out there and I, I was going to comment in the comments because uh, I liked it I did click like I was going to comment uh, surprised to see that the twins won this game being that it's posted by from the Kansas City station but I was going to do that but that would ruin it for everybody else who wanted to watch the game so I didn't I didn't I didn't ruin it Ha 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 Yeah. That took a good, um, you know, that was a two and a half hour game, but with interruptions and stuff, it probably took three and a half to four hours. I don't know, something like that. But that was good. That's good, the time killer. Then I watch in game shows. I just picked the game show, play the percentages. Play the percentages as a game show hosted by. Geoff Edwards. The initial format, I think, was a good one. Here's a very, very quickly. Here's what. Here's the format. You ask a question. You say, "What percent of the people we ask could tell you the Boy Scout oath or whatever?" Then you say, "I think 42." So then you're, you're well. You actually put down your percentages privately, and you, then you reveal your percentages. That way, you don't know what your your opponent picked. So then they reveal the answer. Whoever closest gets that many points. Like say it was 24 percent. So whoever closest gets 24 points. Then they say, okay, that leaves 76 points. Uh, people who didn't know the answer, you can pick up those 76 points by telling me the answer, or you can challenge your opponents to tell you tell them tell me the answer. And if the opponents can't. If the opponents can tell me the answer and you challenge them, then they get the points. So, that's how that game goes. And I think you go to 300 and you win. Then they changed it all around. Then they, originally it was two teams of two, a pair on a team. Then they went to single player. Then they went to like these categories kind of like bullseye, three categories, and it kind of goes, <laughs> stops on one, and then you pick a percentage, like, oh, I pick a 70%, and I, I guess that means 70% got it right, or maybe 70% got it wrong, 
and then if you get it right, you get that, you get 70 points, and you try to get to 250. But, and then, I don't know, the bonus round I didn't really see. But that's like a totally different game. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. They just re, they just totally changed the game and called it, called it the same game. So I'm watching, and it's like highlights of this show. So there's not, not one complete show, which is kind of not fun. I want to watch like the complete show. And um, finding out that the, mostly they're playing these, the banter between the host, Jeff Edwards, and the judge, is Judge Von Eric, and he kept like saying, uh, I'm sorry, Jeff, you, re- you read that question wrong. This is Judge Von Eric. I'm sorry, Jeff, you, you're supposed to give your, the opponent an a option, chance to answer. Well, it was a potluck question and nobody buzzed in. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry, you're right. Ah, ha, ha, Judge Von Eric is wrong. Judge Von Eric is wrong. So it was a bunch of clips like that. And I didn't really care for all that. It's getting darker. I can't tell if it's snowing or not. Like, if it's just sun going down or if it's snowing. Like, because there's like a fog, a haze of some sort up ahead. A haze of a fog. Now it's clear. Now it's clear. So. It's not snowing. Oh, wait. I thought I saw a snowflake. I thought I saw some snowflake. Oh, I saw it. Definitely. I definitely saw a snowflake. I saw it. He peeked. I saw him. He peeked. I saw him. I definitely saw a snowflake. There was like a something percent chance of snow. Uh, But I don't think it would be significant kind of snow. I think it's flurries or something. He peeked. I saw him. He peeked. I saw him. If you don't know what that's from, then you just have to be in the dark. I can't explain everything for you guys. you got to figure some of these out yourself. Okay, that one was from America's Funniest Videos. A little kid said he saw Santa Claus out the window. He said he peeked in the window. He's like, he peeked. I saw him. He peeked. I saw him. Now that kid's about 30 years old, and he's probably saying, why are people going to keep replaying that and making me look like an idiot? So, okay, then I watched... um, Somehow, oh, Gong Show... I was watching, because they were showing, oh, then I went to Treasure Hunt. Remember Treasure Hunt? I watched a couple of those, but I was actually not really paying attention. I was like, it wasn't keeping my interest. So, uh, I was with gong shows, so I watched a couple of gong shows. I wanted to see, like, entertaining acts. There was one, one with the lady juggling. It was kind of interesting. She's singing... Oh, it's really, it's snowing now. It's even on the ground, like, starting to land on the ground and stuff. But she was uh, juggling, singing a song, which is pretty impressive, I think, to sing and juggle. But then she was, like, juggling to match the song she was singing. So it was like, um, I don't know, you can't get you off of my mind. And so she's putting the balls on her head as she says mind. And then she was like, um, what else? Something about on the floor, so then she bounced the balls on the ground as she juggled, and all she said, I'm going to kick you out, she kicked the ball, and then she said, like, I need you, and she need the ball, stuff like that, that was, it, was, it was entertaining, yeah, it's definitely snowing, and then there was another act of a guy who was guy who was in the act posted the video he was half John Boy half Grandpa from the Waltons and yeah he won but it was weird it was just ah, it was just meh then uh, Michael Winslow was on there he won he did a sound effects act you know Michael Winslow right the guy from Police Academy yeah 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 doing all the sound effects and stuff so then I just started watching Michael Winslow videos for until till it was time to go.
So a lot of his sound effects were microphone aided with echoes and stuff. I don't have a microphone and echoes and stuff, so I'm pretty good at sound effects though. Like I can do a bowling alley. I don't know how, how, how well you could hear that on the thing. And then I can do like, uh, I can do birds. I'm gonna do a birds for like 10 minutes. Just kidding. It's 5.55 on the Dry Home Show. It's 19 degrees. We again, Yet again, we moved up two degrees as we went west. That is uncanny. That is just uncanny. It's always two degrees warmer in Fridley. I don't even care. I'm I'm going 50 on this freeway. I, there's a car I, going slower than me. Maybe, maybe I will pass him though. Because he's going so awful slow. I don't really care. I'm not in a hurry, but... Uh, just... I don't need to go that slow. <laughs> Probably. Uh, that's how I get into my John Madden. Thanks, John. I'm Pat Summerall. Whoa. That, did you hear that bump? Did you hear that bump? Did you hear that? Thanks, John. That's all, that's all I can do for John Madden. That's all. Thanks, John. He's at the 20. He's at the 25. Here's a big roly poly truck. <laughs> Big roly poly truck. Yep, it's definitely snowing. It's definitely snowing. Okay, just thought of like songs I wrote as a kid. Okay, I know most of you know me, but there might be a few new listeners out there that don't know me. So I'm going to give you a little bit of insight to me. Uh, I was pretty quiet. I was a pretty quiet kid. Hey, Dad. Hey, Dad. I was a pretty quiet kid. Peter. One, one, where were those good old-fashioned values? Peter. Chris, I got some popsicles in the freezer. No, I was a pretty quiet kid. In fact, my nickname was No Talk. <laughs> But, um, yeah, that was a fun one to be called. But, as any boy, I started getting crushes on girls. And I never would tell them I liked them. I would never even talk to them. So, the way that I dealt with liking them was I would write poems or songs. Most of the time, I would turn them into songs. So... Like, the, one of the first songs I wrote, I got this little Casio keyboard. It's like, a foot long. The keys were, like, push buttons. They were not keys. I can really see the snow behind me. It's, like, a lot of snow. Not like a blizzard, but by any means, but it's snowing. So I got this Casio keyboard, and I'd play it. I'd play it, but... I didn't want none of this one note melody crap. Like to me that, that's not a song. It just like do 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 You know that's that's not a song because that's the part you you sing. And then the music is supposed to accompany that. You know what I'm saying? So I didn't like the one note crap. 
so I, when I'm doing songs, I'm like doing, I was doing intervals, two notes, and then one, oct different octaves of two intervals, like, like a C and a G, or C and a F, or a C and an E, and so I didn't know, I didn't know what chords were, but that's what I played, I just played intervals, it's so like your C and your E, that's, that could be a C chord, or that could be an A, depending on what other, what other, um, note you play with it, but so I just kind of messed around that way and got something that tried to kind of sounded cool or whatever. Uh, so like one of my first songs, like the words were, uh, I'll see if I can remember this now. I was like, I've been hoping, crying, no, hoping, trying, wishing, crying. Oh crap, there's, there's a car waiting at the cotton picking oil change place again what just one but it's still one you know oh there's i think there's one behind it there's two let's see there's two in the bay so yeah at least two waiting so that's not gonna work today i gotta i gotta do the same thing i did yesterday drive around the block didn't go to the store i gotta get another oil quart and i gotta get something for dinner i don't know what i want for dinner tired of trying to pick dinners so it's something about i've been hoping wishing no hoping trying wishing crying but uh, you well i can't remember that one let's talk about uh let's talk about one that i do know of, uh, well i can't think of it now it's called girl don't go now this was written about a girl that I never met. I saw her on the bus going to school. That's a clue. That's a clue. <laughs> um, why does everybody have to get their oil changed now? So now I gotta decide, spending the money to get another quart of oil, am I gonna get it changed right away? Waste thus wasting the money okay back to the song it's called girl don't go it's a girl i never met never talked to still to this day never spoke to her um but the song was telling her not to go like i think she at the time she was starting to date this guy at the school and I was writing the song as if she was breaking up with me to go date this guy so it was kind of like I saw your face what could I do you know I'm so in love with you I thought that once we met our love would only grow from there so we never did meet but it was the point of the song was um you know, as if they did meet, then our love would just keep growing and growing, but apparently it didn't. <laughs> so I saw your face. What could I do? You know I'm so in love with you. Thought that once we met, our love would only grow from there. Now you say you like someone who tells you you're the only one. While I stood in wonder, why didn't we go anywhere? Well, you didn't go anywhere because you never met her. <laughs> then, um, Then they say, I, I, I want your love, that's all I need, and I won't stop till I succeed. Uh, yeah, stalkery, <laughs> yeah. Um, so then uh, we go back to verse two is, I close my eyes, you're all I see. You are the biggest part of me. I know no matter what I say, you're not going to leave him. I love you, girl. Yes, that is true. My future does depend on you, but the way things are, my future is looking pretty dim. Wow, that's deep. That's pretty deep. Uh, we're going into the store now, so... Not going to be quoting my song lyrics in the store. It's snowing. Did I lock it? Yeah, I think I did. Yep, I did. Mary's going to check out lane two. 
foot shall lead. chicken rice. I'm going to put it in tuna helper. Look at our donut holes. Oh, don't forget the oil. Let's go get that. Where? Car care. Yeah, okay. There's a curtain in the way. There might be a long period of silence. That's not heavy. I'm just lazy. <laughs> Is that somebody's there? put it down there. Yeah. Can I still do mine the old fashioned way? Yeah, I like it the old fashioned way. Okay. Sorry for all that silence. <laughs> Looks like a snow globe. Looks like a Christmas snow globe. Like fluffy snowflakes. It's like a Christmas snow globe. Uh, there were some, there were some uh, parts in there that I want to hear. Like if you could hear other people talking around me and stuff. Um, uh, but there's a lot of silence, so I might, I might go back and edit this and delete out the silences, so the future listeners out there don't have to put up with that silentness. Um, okay, so we're putting another oil quart in. Probably won't get the oil change soon. I mean, we will, but now it's three new quarts of oil. So it's just like a new oil change. Just kidding. It's pretty dirty. Dirty and stuff. Dollar thirty-eight a gallon in gas ads. Holiday station starts. Probably get gas tomorrow. Either I don't know. I don't know. Either on the way to work or on the way home from work. But on Saturday after work, we'll be going to leaving to go to Indiana. So. Um, while people riding bikes in the snow and stuff. Um, tomorrow I'll have to pack my suitcase and have everything ready that I want to take to uh, Indiana. That should be fun. That should be fun. We're going to... My plan is... It's not... I don't think it's the best of plans, but... Logically, 
it kind of makes the most sense to have the my work is 30 minutes towards towards Indiana okay so if, if Paulina and Paula come and get me there at work and then we head out from there we're 30 minutes closer so that takes 30 minutes off traveling time now we don't have to be there till the next day and uh, you know next afternoon or something but I got like I said well we can take long breaks we can you know we don't have to rush to get there we can stop and relax and have a dinner or something things like that I smell like somebody's fire have a fire in their fireplace or something. And then on the way back, I think I think we have to be there till Monday at three. So um, here's what we're gonna do. Uh, I, my plan is like because I have to work Tuesday, and so they're just gonna drop me off back at work <laughs> at five thirty in the morning. And I think Paul has to go to school and stuff, so they'll, they'll just, um, you know, if you don't go home and continue and go about there, it's a regular day as a third. So somebody's going to be missing some sleep. Now, um, I don't know. Um, I don't know about that, because then I'm going to be pretty tired at work. But that's the only thing, so we'll see how that ends up going. All right, I'm going to park forward-ish. We're home, so that's the end of the drive home show. Thanks for listening to the drive home show. I'm gonna pee now. Okay, how do I get to it? Okay, that and that.